Professor Sage! Pepe, I'm sorry to bother you, but can you tell these two about when you saw Lloyd? But aren't they out for revenge against Lloyd? That's just a big misunderstanding, I assure you. Well, if you say so, Professor Sage. Not too long ago, I saw him on a strange flying thing headed towards the tree at Ruins. It was definitely Lloyd. I'd know that spiky hair anywhere. Really? Thank you so much! Emil, let's hurry! We might still be able to catch up with them! Right! Hold on, I'd like to go with you. Why? I was Lloyd's teacher. If he really has strayed, I need to set him back on the right path again. Also, the fact that he's after the Centurion's cores troubles me. Six months ago, he was on a quest to collect X-Spheres. It was an important mission to him. He promised his father he'd complete it. His father? Do you mean Dirk? Anyway, I'm interested to know why Lloyd would abandon his quest for X-Spheres to look for Centurion's cores. What do you think? Let's have her come with us. With her along, we might be able to find out more about what happened in Pomacosta. Yeah. Then it's settled. I look forward to traveling with you. Um... Yes, what is it? Uh, oh, it's nothing. If you have nothing to say, don't call out to others. Sorry. I thought you weren't afraid of Ray. She used her teacher voice on me. I couldn't help it. We should introduce Rain to Tenebrae. Oh, right. How may I be of service? A talking animal? No, a monster. Oh, you're the one Colette was talking about. Tenebrae, correct? It's Tenebrae. You seem like an intelligent person. I am grateful for your assistance. You don't feel quite the same as a summon spirit. Much closer to a monster. No doubt because I employ monsters as my servants. Very interesting indeed. I'd love to learn more about it. We must talk later. It would be my pleasure. Wow, Rain is totally unfazed. Yeah, no kidding. I guess she's just naturally composed. the two of you fear half-elves as well. I was always taught that half-elves were evil, but you don't seem any different from us. I leave it to you to form your own opinions of me. To be honest, half-elves do sort of frighten me, but I don't want to think you're a bad person just because of your race. Some humans are bad people too. I see. What complicated creatures these humanoids are. I thought the two of you must be getting hungry, so I decided to put together a meal. Here you are. Wow. Um, what exactly is this? Oh right, I almost forgot to explain. These are rice stuffed lemons. You know how sushi rice can taste so good you sometimes forget how much you've eaten? Well, I thought I'd try to create that same addictive quality in a more ordinary everyday rice dish. I started by emptying out some lemons, then filled them with rice and cooked them just like that. Last but not least, I added garam masala to punch up the flavor. It's revolutionary! Ah, uh, I am thankful that we Centurions are spared the joys of eating.
What's the matter? What happened? I'd heard the giant tree destroyed some of the area. But the precious ruins, the polycarbonate. Such a terrible loss of priceless history. Maybe Rain has a split personality too. Too? Well, I mean, when you're in battle, and sometimes even when you're not, you change into a different person. Really? I change when I'm not in battle? Yeah, I thought you knew. You said that the Knights of Ratatosk have the ability to change form in battle. Uh, yes. It seems like I transform once I'm possessed by Ratatosk's power. And Ratatosk's core is living off of Marta. Yes, it's this jewel on my forehead. I see. Sorry to interrupt, but I sense both humans and monsters within the rubble. Perhaps we should investigate. Really? Rain, let's go take a look. It might be Lloyd. Yes, you're right. Let's go. Say your prayers. against me. You really are a fascinating creature, Tenebrae. May I touch you? If you wish. Ooh, you don't feel quite like a cat or a dog, or even noish. I've never felt anything so soft. So this is what it's like to touch darkness. You are too kind, really. Whoa! Whoa. Your skin stretches this much? Ah, oh, this texture can only mean you're a shapeshifter. You must be quite experienced to make such deductions from a single touch. <laughs> Your way of speaking is quite interesting as well. Your interest is flattering. So, when Colette was talking about maniacs, did she mean you, Rain? It's true that Colette and the others have often accused me of being an archaeology maniac. But what about the term maniac made you think of me? Oh, it's just that Colette mentioned a friend of hers who seemed to act like a totally different person near ruins. Like a different person? Yes. She described her friend's transformation as berserk, crazy, insane, frightening, dangerous, monstrous, inhuman, reckless, disturbing, and completely out of control, if I am not mistaken. And you're saying that's what I'm like, Emil? What? She didn't... Tenebrae, stop doing things like that! Give up. Genus. Rain? What are you doing here? I thought the plan was to meet up back in Asalia. I'm sorry. It's just that I saw Lloyd, so I tried to follow him. Wait, who are these people with you? Ah, oh, well, you see. So that's why you all came here. So Lloyd came through here? He did. But now this monster's blocking the path. I tried attacking it, but it won't budge. I wonder how Lloyd managed to move it. Perhaps he fed the monster. Wh what the hell is that? I am Centurion Tenebrae. A pleasure. Oh, right. You're that Tenebrae guy she mentioned. It's Tenebrae. 
Now then, when this particular monster is asleep, it absorbs all attacks. This thing wasn't here the last time we came to the ruins. This type of monster thrives in warm environments. It likely fled here in an effort to escape the oncoming cold. Okay, so first we need to get some food for this guy. What does he eat? His diet consists primarily of freshwater fish and monsters. Hmm. If we're looking for fresh water, the tree at Oasis isn't too far from here. If you're going to tree it, I'm coming with you. I'm tired of staring at this thing. You and Rain are siblings, right? So that would make you a half-elf too. Yeah, though I'd think that was pretty obvious. Half-elf? What, the two of you don't like half-elves? I don't mind the two I've met so far. Well then, that's good enough for me. We usually get dirty looks when people find out what we are. Was it that way with Lloyd? Lloyd's the kind of guy who couldn't care less if you were a half-elf or anything else for that matter. He is? So this is what you've been up to. No wonder you've been away from Asalia an awfully long time. With everything people are saying about Lloyd these days, I figured I should get the story straight from him. I see. Well, I'm glad we ran into each other. Yeah. By the way, notice anything different about me? Hmm. What could it be? Come on! Can't you see I'm taller? Take a good look! My voice is even a little deeper. You don't say. How much taller are you? A sixteenth of an inch. Desert. It must be related to all the strange weather we've been seeing everywhere. It was pretty cold in Isalia, too. But I was just here a few months ago, and it wasn't like this at all. I heard it started snowing here about a month ago. This may be due to a dormant Centurion's core. But would that cause the weather to change this dramatically? The natural balance could have been further disrupted by the awakening of another Centurion's core. Man, these Centurion's cores sound like serious trouble. My deepest apologies. as your weapon. Lloyd made it and gave it to me for my birthday. It helps me concentrate when I use magic. So you just started using it as a weapon after that? Sort of. See, once when I was playing with it, the string broke and the ball hit Lloyd smack in the head. Really? Colette took one look at Lloyd passed out on the ground and said I'd found the perfect weapon. I thought these people were supposed to be friends.
freezing. It's not even dark yet, and it's already this cold. How stupid is that? If we don't do something, and fast, I'm gonna freeze up solid. Really, Genus? I thought the cold didn't bother you all that much. That was just when I was a kid. You still look pretty much like a kid to me. Who, who asked you? I'm gonna have my growth spurt any day now. Snow in the desert. I do hope the desert's ecosystem will be all right. The majority of creatures that make their home here should be able to weather the cold, but still. I hadn't expected mana would be this far out of balance. Lord Ratatosk would be horribly dismayed at this state of affairs, I'm sure. But it's so romantic! Arm in arm with your significant other? It's the perfect place for a stroll. Significant other? Yeah. Maybe me and Persea could... I think we just got a glimpse of Genus's true colors. Completely frozen. How are we supposed to catch water monsters now? Do you want me to melt the ice with magic? No. You may fry the monsters before we can even get to them. Well then, how about we cut a hole in the ice and fish them out? Okay, we need to go get a fishing rod then. No need for that. I can transform into a fishing rod and we can use one of our monsters as bait. You can actually do that? Of course. But do you really want to use one of our monsters as bait? Don't worry. I won't let it get eaten. Think of it as a lure and nothing more. Let's go with Tenebrae's plan. Lloyd could be getting away as we speak. We don't have time to waste. That's true. Go for it, Tenebrae. Then let's go to the lake surface. Ready for some monster fishing? Yeah, let's do it. Splendid! First, allow me to transform into a rod. Next, select a location where you'd like to fish and cut a hole there. Right. Now, choose a monster to use for the bait. Okay, this time... Let's try this one. Now, let's get started. Don't you dare let go of me. But... You can do it, Emil. Everybody pull at the same time. Okay. Wait. One... Two... Three! What the heck is that? That is a favorite of Vartex, our path-blocking friend in the tree at Ruins. However, it's rather large. Hey, guys, I think it's looking at us. Here it comes!
are we really going to carry this thing? It looks pretty heavy. It isn't dead yet. Why don't you form a pact with it? What? But we're going to feed it to the Bartek. We can use it as a distraction. It doesn't have to actually get eaten. This is indeed true. Emile, please make a pact. I'll give it a try. Don't yell at me if I fail, okay? Now we can finally make some progress in the ruins. Right. Let's hurry and go after Lloyd. a fishing rod. Truly fascinating. What else can you change into? A dog? Please. I have been called the centurion of a thousand faces. I could even become a jaw-droppingly beautiful woman if I so chose. A beautiful woman? Yeah, right. gone fishing before that. Oh yeah? That's pretty rare for someone who grew up in Palma Costa. I mean, it's right on the water and all. Oh, yeah. Well, what did you think? It wasn't easy getting a bite. It was tricky knowing when to reel in and when to let out the line. That battle of wits between hunter and hunted is fishing's greatest joy. You'd never learn the thrill of the hunt fishing for Lady Marta, though. She's far too easy a catch. Well, excuse me! <laughs> for you to say. Tenebrae is the one that's actually doing it. Excellent point. I'll lure him away. As soon as the monster turns its back, slip past it. Emil, Genus, don't trip. Huh? Why do you say that? You two worry me. I'm sure you'll be just fine, Emil. I'll be just fine, too! Well then, just let me know when you're ready. Shall we begin? Yes. All right. Archelon, not that way. 
Archelon, I told you not to go that way. You bastard! Emil! Get up and run, now! Uh, okay. You looking for a fight? That's enough, Emil. Let's go. Uh, okay. Oh, we should be safe now. I can't believe that monster actually attacked us. Indeed. Of course, even the most passive monsters will become aggressive when presented with a potential meal. Emil, thanks for saving me. Sure, no problem. Actually, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I'm glad you're okay. Hey, Emil. The way you were before, was that Ratatos possessing you like in battle? Did I change again? It wasn't just a change, it was a full-on metamorphosis! Ratatosk must be really powerful! Yeah. I sense Ignis's presence. There is indeed a Centurion's core here. Shall we keep moving before Lloyd snatches it up? Right, good idea. Let's go.